Hi everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make these cute little baby booties, square toe booties. And we're going to need a few little things like these little seed beads. They're just your average uh, seed beads, crow beads. I fished out the black ones for the bow. And um, craft ribbon. This one is a quarter, a quarter of an inch craft ribbon. Any color you like. This is pink. And a little piece of elastic to go around the opening of the shoe. I'm going to use an eye hook, 5.5 millimeter. You're going to need a blunt needle to sew in the ends. And you're also going to need a little bit of thread, a little bit of sewing thread, and a smaller needle to fit the beads, the seat beads. Make sure your needle can go through, the bead can go through the needle. And um, we're just going to use our regular worsted wear yarn, uh, pink, to make the other shoe for this one. And uh, that's about it. So we're going to get started. Okay, so we're going to start with our slip knot. And we're going to chain 15. Let's move all this stuff out of here. Gonna make 15 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we're going to slip stitch in the first one. And we're gonna make sure that our chain is flat. We don't want it to twist. This is the front of the chain and this is the back of the chain. You can tell because there's little bumps back here in the middle of the chain and in the front you don't have those bumps. Okay, so um, I'm going to wrap my tail around. Well, actually I'm going to leave my tail out because I want to use it to sew the toe part. So I'm going to chain one and in the same stitch we're going to put a half double crochet. And we're going to half double crochet in each one of these chains. And this right here is not a chain, so we're going to skip over that. That's your slip stitch. I'm going to slip stitch there in the first chain we made, in the first stitch we made, and chain one. Half double crochet in the same stitch, and in each stitch around. This will be your second row. That is not a stitch. 
So you're going to slip stitch in your first stitch of the row. And you're going to do one more for the toe. Dub, half double crochet in the same chain space. And you're going to half double crochet again in each one. Good, and now we're going to slip stitch in here, we're going to chain one, and we're going to turn, and we're going to go the other way. I have to crochet in each one. I'm going to move this tail out of here so it won't accidentally get crocheted. And again, that's not a stitch there. That's your turning. That's where you turned out. So we're going to slip stitch up here. Oh. Actually, no, we're not going to slip stitch. We're going to chain one because we already did the toe part, so we're going to do the foot part. We're going to chain one and half double crochet in the same stitch. That's how you're going to leave it, like this. You're just going to go back and forth now. And let's not forget our last stitch right here. It's easy to forget. And we're not going to slip stitch. We're just going to chain one and we're going to go back the other way. And we're going to do about, we need uh, seven rows of these for the foot. And this is our last stitch of the row right here. So yeah, so we're going to need seven rows for the foot. We have three rows for the toe. And for the foot, we have one. We have one, two, three. We need four more rows. So we're going to go back and forth four more times. And I'll meet you when I finish mine. Okay, so I'm at the end of my last row, and this is what your booty should be looking like at this point, like this. And we're going to finish these last couple of stitches. And we're 
we're going to chain one and we're going to fasten off. We're going to leave a tail so that we can have some thread to sew the back. So now we're going to take our blunt needle, the larger needle, and we're going to thread it and sew the back of the shoe like this. So in it, you just need to pick up the two loops that are meeting each other, that are closest to each other. I don't want that. Okay. Last one now. Okay, so we got the back sewed up. So let's weave in to the side here so it won't unravel. Oops. And we're going to cut up. So now we're going to sew the toe part. Now when you sew the toe part, you want to make sure that the opening of the shoe is in the middle before you close it. You don't want it to end up like this. So we're going to set it in the middle. And you're going to take your tail and we're going to thread that. And we're going to sort of weave it until we get to the corner here. And then we're going to line up our shoe and we're going to sew it. Just pick up those back loops that you left from your foundation chain and that will suffice. I'm going to re-thread this because I don't want it to unravel. It got a little short, but I'm just going to weave it through one more time. And that should do it. And this is why our tail should be a little bit longer. So what you want to do is now you want to flip your shoe over so your edges will be a little more smoother. There you go, see? And there you have a little shoe. So now what you want to do is we want to decorate it, right? If you like, you can sew a little button on there. But we want to make sure that the shoe doesn't slip off the baby. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little piece of elastic around here. So I have this little piece of elastic here. And we're going to weave it around the shoe. We're going to use a smaller needle so that the elastic won't keep slipping out of the needle. So here we have a smaller needle. 
like to write that through. And you want to start from the back because that's where you're going to tie the knot. And we're going to do it from the inside because we don't really want our elastic to show too much. Leave a little piece to tie. So we're going to try to weave it in between the stitches so that it's hiding as much as possible. Unless you have pink elastic. I don't have any pink elastic so I have to hide mine. And just pull it through a little bit here. So yeah, so we're going to weave this in as best we could. And when you f meet up with the other end, you're going to meet up inside. Don't pull it outward so you can tie them together and there's still room for the baby's foot to go in the shoe it's showing a little bit there but that's not so bad so we want to tie that up because how many times have you walked down the street and noticed that a little baby lost their shoe it happens all the time I know with my children, I used to lose their shoes, all the, their little booties all the time. Or their shoes too, because they also untie them. So yeah. Now you, I'm going to add a little ribbon here, just like I did with my first booty. And I have a couple of seed beads, of, uh, three seed beads that I want to put on the ribbon. So I'm going to cut a piece of ribbon a piece long enough for me to comfortably make a bow so I'm gonna take my bow like this and then I want this end I'm gonna turn it up like this and I want to flip it over so that it's resting on the back here like this and I'm going to even out my lame even out my bows so now I'm going to take the needle that has the thread on it all you need is just a little piece of thread and I'm going to make sure it matches my other one I don't want it too big these bottom pieces right here of the bow you can even that out and cut them after you sew it on no need to worry so I'm just gonna take a couple of do a couple of uh, in, ins and outs right here just to hold my bow in place and then I'm going to put it in the middle of my shoe needle comes back out I'm going to pick up one of my seed beads slide it on and I'm going to pull it back in and there's my bead so I'm going to pull the needle back out push the needle back out and I'm going to pick up another bead and I'm going to place it somewhere on the bow. Let's make sure our thread doesn't get caught on our bow. Just like this. Okay. And 
and I'm going to come through again and pick up my other bead. And there you have it. So I'm going to do this a couple more times. Oops, there goes my bow again. I'm just going to reinforce it in the back here a couple of times. And we can cut that now. Cut that away. And our ribbon, we want to make the little points like this. So we want to fold our ribbon, make sure it's the same size, it's right about there at the toe, so we want to fold it right about there, like this, and you want to cut upward, and it will leave you with that, and do it on this side, and we want to cut upward, and there you go. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.